everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's episode is an advanced Photoshop editing project creating a floral work of art. So for this project, I took a single tulip stem. I shot it in the round. So I moved the flower in the vase around as I made each shot with my camera. Then I'm going to combine these images together using Photoshop to create a floral masterpiece. So if you love editing, join me. This is a long video, but it's worth it. Hi everyone, it's Lori. So in today's episode, we are going to work on a single stem flower image that I have shot in the round, which is where you take the image or the flower and you circle it around as you shoot. So I just keep going around the image, capturing it from all angles. So you'll see, I think this is where I really started the stack. Then I went to the middle, I went around to the right, around some more, and then I think I started going back the other direction, um, coming around again towards the front and back around. So what we need to do is combine these images. So I think if I play it um, kind of fast, you can see I'm spinning around. So what I want to do is I am going to combine these images to create a beautiful full bouquet of flowers using Photoshop. So I'm going to show you the one that I practiced on and we're going to come right over here. And this is the one that I practiced and created. I'm pretty happy with it, but I learned some things along the way that I'm going to share with you today. So let's jump in and get started together. So the first step when you're doing an image like this is you want to select the images that you want to combine. And what I'm going to do is it looked like, let me check it again. It looked from here, the back, I think this is where I was going around the image. Yeah. And I think I have one from all sides. And those look like duplicates. So I'm going to start right here at number 12. So I'm not going to use all 19 images because there's some duplicates that I just don't, don't think I need. And I think that this is a good representation and it's going to give us a smaller stack to work with um, for our first time working on it together. All right, so what you want to do is right click, edit in, and you want to open as layers in Photoshop. Now, I am using Lightroom Classic today just for this activity. If you are not a Lightroom Classic user and you're a Lightroom user, you will need to, um, you're going to have to export your images and then open them one at a time in Lightroom and drag them into your layer, or into Photoshop and drag them into your layers. It's a little bit more challenging. If you use Bridge, you could then open them into Photoshop. Um, but if you have Lightroom Classic, you could just bring them in just for this activity. So if you're just a Lightroom user, it is a little more tedious. I'm sorry about that, but um, we're going to get started. So these are going to be brought in. So while they are loading, let me tell you a couple key learnings that I had. First is the glass that I was using. Let's go back over to Lightroom. It had ridges in it. This made it really challenged to edit and you really couldn't see the stems of the flower, which is what I ultimately wanted. So I would encourage you to start with a clear vase. I think you'll have an easier time. Second is I chose tulips and I chose a really small tulip that was left over from a bouquet. And what happened was this tulip had a lot of um, leaves on it and I had had another tulip in the bunch and when I took the leaves off the stem had broken and I wanted to keep this stem tall so I decided to prop it up in the vase with the leaves but what I learned was that made it really hard to mask and edit so I would encourage you to start with a flower that doesn't have leaves or or extra foliage so I would do like a rose and remove the leaves from it. I would do a Gerber daisy, uh, maybe a carnation. Look for a flower, even a hydrangea, something that you can remove the leaves or the excess petal leaves so that you only have a straight stem. 
The idea of this in particular activity is to create a bouquet full of beautiful stems in all directions. It made it really challenged to edit with the petals. So those are my two key learnings. Now, my other learning, my third one, is that I discovered a different way to blend these together. So if you've watched any of my other flower or pet ventosa method where you shoot in the round and edit, we typically are going to use blend modes and change our layer opacity. But with this activity, I'm going to do a kind of secret, I guess, sauce to make it really beautiful. So let's jump in. We're right here in Photoshop. So another um, important thing to note is I do not pre-edit my images. So I wait till I've blended them all together and then I go in and edit them. If you had a major mistake that you wanted to clean up off of all the images, you could when you're in Lightroom, but I usually prefer to wait till I'm finished. Okay, so we've got our base image here that we're gonna start with, and now I'm going to come and look at the second image. So this image is right here, um, kind of on the um, middle to side of the image, and then I'm gonna look at the next one, which is over on the far left. So what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm actually, um, we can lower the opacity and we'll be able to see they're barely touching. So what I'm gonna do is add my layer mask. This is the first technique that you could use. I'm gonna make sure that my color's on black. I'm gonna grab my brush, make sure my opacity's at 100%. And what I want to do is just bring out this flower. So we are just bringing out this flower that was underneath. And what we're gonna have to do, we wanna bring it back at 100%. When we get into these small areas, I do want this entire leaf. So I'm just gonna be really delicate there because we want it to look really realistic. And let me zoom in a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna come down here and the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take my opacity back to 100%. So that is gonna bring out our other image. Now we can see our vase looks a little weird. So I'm gonna to continue to work and I am just going to blend that stem in because it comes all the way down and we want those leaves and stems because they're gonna make our image look really, really natural. Um, and exactly what it is. We've taken one flower and now we have two. So I think we've done a really nice job. Let me come in. I'm just gonna make sure that this is really clean. I would encourage you to take your time. If you mess up, flip it over. We're gonna undo and just take your time cleaning up and editing. I promise it makes a big difference. When I first started um, working on these, I went a little quick and I regret it because I then made some mistakes that I had to go back and clean up. So um, let me flip this back to black. Yeah, just want to make sure, see, make sure you get the tips. Really look at your image and make sure you've got all of it. All right, so now we've got here was our first image, and now we've got our second flower. So that's a great starting point. You can just blend those together really easily. All right, now our third layer is gonna be this guy. Now he's pretty far over, so you've got a decision to make. We could lower that opacity again, and let's see. They actually overlap quite a bit. So this is where I'm gonna show you the other technique that I'm going to do. This is where I'm going to select subject. So we're gonna come in, select the subject, and I just um, determined this method today. I've been playing with it for quite a while and decided that I liked this better than kind of the, um, I wanted all of the flowers to be detailed. So in my other videos, we have more of a ghosting effect. But for this, I wanted all the detail. So I'm now gonna go up to my um, quick selection tool and I'm going to do the subtract to clean up what I don't want. So I don't need the vase but I do want the stem. 
So then what I'm going to do after it finishes, this was also something I learned along the way. Um, and let me move this guy out of the way. We don't need that. I am going to try to get the stem. Now, it's going to be a little tricky. So I'm just going to work on this, bumping this in. Now, remember, we're going to mask off what we don't want. But the quicker or the easier we get our selection or the better our selection, it's going to make your process much easier, I promise. I've already been through this once. Um, so let's just get this in kind of tight and I think that's going to work. So now what we want to do once it processes is we're going to do Command J to make a copy of our selection. So now you have that copy right there. All right, so that is kind of like it's protected. So what we want to do now is we're going to go back to the image before we made our selection. So you're going to go right underneath. We're going to grab our mask and we are now going to go back to our brush. Let's enlarge it. And this is where the magic comes. We are going to brush in the other flowers and all their stems. Look at how beautiful that is. And what's great is you can brush over that selection all day long and it's not going anywhere. So now we've got our gorgeous three images and they look very natural. And look how quick that was. I just, I love it. I'm so excited by this technique. All right, so let's do another one together. So we're gonna click on the next layer. Now this image is kind of in the same place. So actually, I'm gonna skip it for right now. We may come back to it. All right, this one is in the back, and I do think that we need a little bit of that right there. So I'm gonna click on this image, and because it's next to all our others, I'm gonna do the technique of selecting the subject. So again, we're going to select subject. We are gonna come in up at our quick selection tool, and we want to use our negative so we want to subtract, kind of bring that mask around. This one's going to be a little harder. So we want to, um, we're just going to get as much of the stem as we can. Again, if you have a clear vase and if you don't have all these um, petals, it's going to be a lot easier. So I can take that off and then I'm going to grab the plus. I'm going to let this process. I should have selected maybe a different option, but okay, we're going to grab the plus and I'm going to make the brush really small and I'm just going to come down. I want to make sure I get all this petal and I want this stem and I want to go pretty far down. I can always mask this excess off. Okay, I've got all the top. That looks great. I'm going to do Command J and again, we've got that layer two. Now I'm gonna come back to the original that we just selected subject on, add the mask, and then I'm going to go back and add my brush at 100%, and I am gonna bring back all these other flowers, including my vase. We've got this flower over here. All right, so now we've got these layered together, now, another trick that I want to show you, you can see our vase is getting off just a little bit. So I am going to flip it right here to white and where this gray is. Uh, I'm going to try to bring back my vase a little bit because I don't want to lose it. So as you go, you want to check things like that. Are your edges, see that? I want to keep that edge really clean, but I also want this green to flow. So we're gonna bring it back up to the top. We're gonna bring this down to that edge. And this is where it just gets, um, it gets a little difficult because I had that edged, it's an edged glass. So I'm just gonna work with getting these. See, I went too far there. So I'm gonna come back, clean that up. Now we could always use our clone 
And sometimes that might even be easier, but all right, now I'm going to come right to that edge and go back up and I need to flip this one to white. That's on the gray. So when you get gray, you'll know to go back right there and then right over here. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it. Just going to double check, see around there. I don't want that. I want that green where we've added the stem. So I'm just going to come back in right there. Okay, so I think it's as good as it's going to look. We can always alter this at the end by adding a layer for the container. So right now I'm just going to kind of smooth that out and we'll work on that section um, later as well. Now I do notice, yeah, it's got a divider right there. So I'm just gonna flip this and I just wanna make sure I bring all that detail in. Okay, now another trick that you can do is if you're not sure, um, you can also go up to this, this layer and you can do a mask on it as well. So I'm just gonna check some things with that mask and that can also help you clean up. So I'm going to go on white. And I'm just going to make sure that it hasn't covered anything. OK, so I'm going to go back to the image that we added. Let's look at that. So this was before and this is after. Now, I don't like that it's hiding that one. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a Command T to transform that layer, but we need to do it on the transparent layer. Now I can move that layer around. So you can see I can kind of move it and nestle it in to my grouping there. I could also move it over to the side, but I wanted to really just nestle it right there in front. So I'm going to put that down. Now we can see what it's done to um, bottom of the vase. Let me move it up just a little bit. All right. All right, I'm going to click enter. And now what we're going to do is we've got our mask. I'm going to flip it back back to black. And we are going to try to clean clean this up. And what I want to do is make sure Let's flip this to white. Now that was before. We don't want that. We want all of our glass detail to come out. Okay, so we're going to go to the transparent layer and we are going to work with that to clean this up. So you can see I can remove all of that, bring that back. And right up here, there's some gray. So I'm going to just flip it, make the brush smaller, and come in with that. So I just wanted to show you that as an option. Sometimes, especially with something like tulips, you may want to tuck something in and move it around. Now, you can see our stem looks a little bit off here, but there's the green. And I don't want that line. So what I'm going to do is at the end, I'm going to clone and fix my vase. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and flip it. And let's see, let me go back to the bottom. Let me go up to the layer mask. I'm just working with those. And kind of bringing that in. That doesn't look too bad. And again, we're going to work with this once once we finish. So we're going to work with these. Now, I do see where it's messed up the bottom of the jar. So I'm going to clean that up in case I want to use the bottom of the jar. And I think the rest of it um, looks good. So we've added that one. Let's look at that again. There it wasn't there. And now it is. 
So we have added that one. Okay, so our last image is this one that's over to the right. Now, here's where I wanna show you a little trick. You could do Command T, and I'm gonna scroll out so you can see. I'm actually gonna tilt this one just a little bit. Now you could also, instead of that, I'm gonna go back. We could go to, um, let's hit Enter and get out of that. I'm gonna go to Edit. And I want to do transform and I want to do um, let's do distort and what I want to do yeah I don't want to do distort so let's undo that let's stick with transform and I think that that is going to um, let's cancel that and then let's do command T and I'm just going to tilt it a little bit before we do anything with it. All right, now I'm going to select subject. And that one did okay. I'm going to accept it as it is, except I don't want that little spot. So I'm going to come in and we're just going to um, Take the subtract brush and just brush that off. We could also clean up right here um, if we wanted to. Whoops, there we go. And there's a spot right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so once you get it done, you do Command or Control J. That's going to put the layer here. We are going to go back to our original. We're going to add our mask. And now we're going to get our brush and with a really large brush, we're going to bring back everything that we had before. So we are going to fix our vase. We are going to bring back all the flowers. So everything is getting transformed. Now I'm not worried about the crop here because I am going to let me enlarge this for you. Um, I'm going to be cropping this anyway. So now you can see that we added this gorgeous flower on the side. And of course it's going way too large. Let me scroll back a little bit. Okay, now we can see that one mistake, but that is nothing to worry about. All we have to do is flip it to white. I'm gonna lower the brush and we're just gonna clean. Um, excuse me, let me put it on black. We're just gonna clean that up. We'll just use our heel brush and come right in and get rid of that. Um, I think we're going to have to do that on the actual um, transparent layer. Yeah, there we go. Do it on your transparent layer, which is where the um, mask was. OK, so let's look at this one. This was before and this is after. So it's just giving us that extra extra weight and fluff there. Now you can see our vase is a big, big mess. So let's keep working on that. Let's go ahead and brush again and let me see what we can clean up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up to that transparent. I'm gonna add a mask there and there we go. So you can go back to that and clean up, especially on your um, bottom layer. So we just want to come in and um, I do want that leaf so I'm going to flip this back. I'm just going to bring that down so it looks natural right there at the edge of the vase. Okay so now our vase is looking looking pretty nice. We've got some stems. I do think I need one more stem here. So this time around I have done, um, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five images. So we've got five tulips all right here and an arrangement. So I think it turned out really nice. At this point, if you were done with it, um, you could continue to add more images like I did in my um, original, which is right here. Um, I think I did, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine. Um, but what we're going to do now is do a stamped layer, Command, Option, Shift, and the letter E. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and crop this just so it's kind of all cleaned up. So I'm going to bring 
bring this in, bring this side in, kind of just center my arrangement. And I haven't decided if I'm going to keep the lower vase. Um, I may actually bring it up right above there. Yeah, and just crop that. And then the next thing I'm going to want to do is I will duplicate this layer and then I'm going to do some cleanup. So I'm going to use the remove tool. I am going to um, add maybe some oil paint and I'm going to crop on the, um, not crop, but I'm going to clone on the bottom for the petals. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit for you in the video and then I'll show you the final um, arrangement. Okay, everybody, so I'm back and this is my final version of the image. So if you followed along or maybe you skipped to the end, I did a little bit of cleanup. So I used the clone tool, the heel tool, a lot of different tools and techniques to get my um, container straight. Um, now, again, I think if you're shooting this with straight stems and a clear vase, it's going to be so much easier when you edit. It should be really, really easy. Um, I made it a little hard on myself. So I did add a Gaussian blur and um, I then added a little oil paint just to the flowers. The other thing I could do is maybe add a little blue for the water, but I think I'm just going to leave it um, the way it looks. I really love that the focal point is up here. I do see one spot of green that I need to fix right there. So I'm gonna do that and call it a day. Um, I'll scan over it to see if I see any more gray spots, but I'm really happy. And I hope that you enjoyed learning about the two different ways that you could combine an image like this. So remember, you can use the traditional opacity um, slider and you know really work with your mask. And the other is selecting subject and adding them in your multiple images. So I hope you'll try this advanced technique. I'm going to continue to work on this and see if I can get it to where it's really simple and easy to do. So I appreciate you sticking with me today. Um, hopefully this was fun and a little something different. And I hope you're having a great day.